Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's update our view on the gold market. So mostly on the daily chart, on the 4 hour time frame chart we have the same picture. But on the hourly chart the well, situation stands absolutely beautiful. So yesterday it already was beautiful with the butterfly that we have recognized. But today it's becoming even better. So in two words speaking, as you know, we're just waiting for target round 1949-1952, which is the daily confluence resistance. So we suggest that market should reach this area. Today, by the way, we have a CPI number, so all this stuff together could increase the volatility. Market could show some spike, uh, short term action, let to complete the targets, and then probably reaction should start on this resistance. So if you consider and would like to go short on the gold, that is an area that you need to keep an eye on. Actually, we have talked about this yesterday briefly, but today. We also have some interesting patterns that you could use for position taking. But guys, uh, I call you to use the common sense. Whatever patterns or technicals we have on the charts might be clearly 100% reliable reversal patterns. But take a look at the data that has been released. So if you will get really strong CPI numbers today and uh, you could see that your pattern, reversal pattern is completed, it doesn't mean that... It, uh, it is uh, you, you could go short immediately just because strong numbers might uh, uh, trigger the uh, change the expectation in favor of uh, more hawkish steps from the Fed and actually it could uh, make gold moving lower just control this uh, thing that's the numbers more or less agrees with the direction that you intend to trade if you'll get really weak numbers in this case market could be more stubborn with the upper prediction and maybe it makes sense to wait uh, with a new short position see for reactions uh, watch for some additional patterns or something so because here actually uh, this area more or less wide which is because uh, this level we also should take into consideration that it also creates the confluence with this one uh, so just uh, take the Twofold analysis. Make the twofold analysis. First of all, the things that we will discuss today in the technical side, but also keep an eye on what the data we will get. So on the fallout time from charts, take a look. Target is mostly completed. Uh, just well, final effort is needed from the gold to complete the 1945 area and complete this minimum target of this hand and shoulders, say BCD. And yesterday we talked about a butterfly, but today it becoming even more interesting. Yes, we have the same pattern. We have inner A, B, C, D on the butterfly. Now take a look at the divergence that's starts forming. This is a reliable divergence because it is forming not some somewhere, but it form it is forming around the daily confidence resistance. And the divergence agrees and stands around significant levels. They are always more reliable. And uh, last question that we have to answer is in what manner market could keep going higher and complete this target and based on the recent performance it seems that we will get free drive sell because take a look between the first and second drive is precisely 1.7 extension and if you plot here the extension of the second drive you will see the combination of the 1.7 from the second drive and 1.648 from the first right around the same target so that's the point where directly should be the third drive Three drive sell is bearish reversal pattern. Its minimum target is, you know, the bottom between the second and third drive right there. And this perfectly agrees with the minimum target of the butterfly, which will be the 30% pullback to the downside. So this, uh, all the stuff should be somewhere around the confluence on the daily chart. So it, mean, it makes a uh, trading scenario suggesting that taking the short position relatively safe. But once again, keep an eye on the numbers as well. And if you would like to sell, it would be better to place an initial stop somewhere above the confluence area, just for some case. 
because it will be some increase in volatility maybe CPI will be not as strong as expected which could give short some additional bullish impulse in the market which shows the more spice to the upside something of this kind so um, be careful and take uh, consideration all things that we have currently in place but in general by itself the overall picture probably you agree with me that looks really uh, great so with these all these patterns in place just uh, just uh, supporting each other and uh, it's just a pleasure to use them on your trading